I can think of no better place to have the second Eastern Partnership Summit than here in Warsaw. The message of our Eastern Partnership is a perspective for those who choose the path of reform, the path of democracy. Poland is a vivid example of what is possible when countries take reform seriously. We are well on way to concluding new and upgraded contractual relations with most of our partners. We are looking forward to the possibility of finalizing the negotiations on the EU-Ukraine Association Agreement before the end of this year. And if the conditions are in place, negotiations on deep and comprehensive free trade could also start with Georgia and the Republic of Moldova by the end of the year. Earlier this year, the European Union has agreed on a new framework for the neighborhood policy. This will open further opportunities for our Eastern European neighbors as well and will allow for programs better tailored to individual situations. I also want to make it clear that the EU acknowledges the European aspirations and European choice of some partners. We are prepared to support partners along this road. The summit today, in the presence of heads and of state and government here in Warsaw, gave proof of our clear determination to maintain the European Union's commitment to our Eastern European partners. For the European Union, there is much at stake for the future. The success of our Eastern European partners and our Eastern partnership is a critically important building block towards a European continent whole, prosperous, free and at peace.